Peace and blessings. It's your boy Wallow Archer. Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown High Radio. I'm here live on the red carpet with Mita. How are you today? I'm great. Blessed. Awesome. So what brings you out today? I came to support my brother, Shah, Dewey Hill Films, with his first film player. And, you know, this is my brother. I had to be here. <laughs> so y'all have some talent in your family. Yes, we definitely have talent. You know, we're all in the production, in the writing, scripts, books. It's, it's all over the family. <laughs> and with that being said, let's talk about your background. How did you get started? Let's talk about some of the things you've done. Um, my background goes so many years back. I started in the music industry, you know, working with Wu-Tang and Puff Daddy and Mace and Big and all of them. And, you know, it led me all the way to here. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on TV and I'm just using the platform to do bigger things. Now what advice would you give to people trying to make it, still doing the fake it till you make it? What advice would you give people to be actual authentic, I guess? I mean, if you ain't authentic, you can't be authentic. <laughs> you just is or you isn't. <laughs> it's not much I can make you be if you ain't. <laughs> So how would you say you came past or accomplished some of the hurdles that you had to deal with in the industry? Um, you know, me, I was a go-getter from day one. I knew what I wanted and everything that I wanted, I went after it. It wasn't a no for me. It wasn't a maybe. It wasn't a let's see. It's This is what I want and this is what I'm going to get. And that's what I kept striving for. What would you say have been your biggest challenge in your career? Uh, my biggest challenge in my career is being a woman. And, and looking like something, that's a challenge in itself. It's pretty fucked. <laughs> I hate to be sexist, but I would think as beautiful as you are, as attractive as you are, it would be a little easier for you. No, I actually just produced my own TV show called Pretty Fucked, and it shows the trials and tribulation of being pretty and how you're, you're not looked at for your brains. I have a whole PhD. I'm Dr. Mita. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't matter. My creativity doesn't matter. What I bring to the table doesn't matter. You know, they want to know what can we do after this? Or when can I take you out? Like, you know, if I'm giving, then they're willing to give a little. So, you know, it's not that easy. It's, it's not easy at all, actually. <laughs> I always heard, but I don't know, because that's not my lane. Uh -huh. So it's just interesting hearing that from you. Yeah. So where can they find you at on social media? You can find me at Mita.WonderWoman. That's M-E-D-A dot W-O-N-D-A-W-O-M-A-N. Mita.WonderWoman. Thanks so much for doing the interview. Anytime.